cholesterol is the basic building block for pregnenolone. Now there's only so much pregnenolone in the body. You only have a finite amount. So what happens is the pregnenolone, pending the situation, is going to produce DHEA or it's going to produce progesterone where you get your cortisol and aldosterone. Does that make sense? Okay, so um, now let's just back up this second. And can you imagine what happens if you force your cholesterol levels down? You force your cholesterol levels down, what are you doing to your body's ability to make pregnenolone? And if you're not, it's exactly right. The sickest people are people with low cholesterol, not high cholesterol. By the way, let me say it again. We do a heart disease talk called Younger Arteries. We're going to be probably doing it a few months ago. And we discuss in there that cholesterol, if you have high cholesterol, you know what I'm already going to say. You got to find out why you have high cholesterol and fix that problem as opposed to just trying to dump something in there to force it down. It's really the height of ignorance to just drive it down with the drug. Now, I know that sounds caustic, but let me explain what I'm saying. Ignorance means not knowing, because I'm sure they're not doing that maliciously. But I'm telling you, it's tearing up a lot of people's health. You cannot drive down artificially cholesterol without having ramifications. You cannot do it. I don't care if your cholesterol is 300. You can't just drive it down. You have to find out why it's there and correct the problems. Most usually it's oxidation, it's inflammation that's coming from somewhere. It could be infection, it could be something else. You just have to take care of it. And then deal with that situation so that the body can react normally. Okay, let me get off my soapbox, then back onto the talk. Cholesterol and normal healthy levels will uh, produce this. Now, if you get under a lot of stress, internal or externally driven, what we've been talking about, there's going to be something called the pregnenolone steel. The pregnenolone steel goes like this. Um, the body is going to sense that it needs to fight this thing, so guess what it's going to do? It's going to drive this pathway this way so much that it's going to cut this pathway off. And if you cut this pathway off, this is the guy that has the testosterone levels of 200, 250, 300. I don't feel as good as I used to. I, I have low libido. I, I don't have uh, really desire for life. I don't, you know, I just don't feel good. I'm 48 years old. I'm 55 years old. I don't know what happened to me. Uh, well, the person probably, maybe he's, he's, he's working too hard, maybe he's got uh, uh, some of the other issues we've talked about here going on, and he's got a pregnenolone still going on, and his body's simply not making the testosterone. Does this make sense? So here again, let me reemphasize let me reemphasize this and say that that's the reason why we don't just jump into doing uh, the sex hormone or the, or the female male hormone studies. And yeah, sometimes you do need that, but here again, Fix the problems, and a lot of times these things will